You're saying you did do it? Well, oh, whoops. That's unusual, but it sure as hell makes my job easier. Zoo Kotokani is very clear on how to handle this. I, um, I apparently clicked the wrong thing. It doesn't say to say no. Well, I ruined it. <laughs> I messed up. How's it going? I'm Tony. Hope you're having a great day because today we're going to put some oil or something or other on uh, the janitor. I'm not entirely sure what we're doing, but let's do it. Uh, so I have to place this. A bugger off, kid. Uh, what was his voice? Bugger off, kid. I'm trying to come up with a good reason to impale the little junior principal with my mop. Okay. Do I have to sneak up? How do I? Is that good? Should I place the device here? Yes, I don't know what it is. Oh, then I gotta go talk to Monty. Hello there, Monty. Do you... Hello. Did you place it? Yup. Excellent. This is gonna be good. What's gonna happen? Now, Jerome. Get back here. I ain't done questioning you yet. Oh my gosh, is it a bomb? Oh my... We blew him up. That was awesome. Jeez, dude. I told you to distract him, not blow him up. Well, we got... we. I mean, we took care of him. <laughs> he had it coming. He had it coming. Kind of combined the voices there for a second. The chatter just exploded. Yes, he did. The irony here is that there's no one to clean up the parts. Oh dear. Can we just go inside? Yes, I think that would be for the best. I hope everyone had a good recess. Let's all get ready for show and tell. Why don't you go first? What did you bring? I'm pretty sure I have to show. Yep. I have a screwdriver. Oh, a screwdriver. That's my favorite drink. <laughs> the janitor was meaning. Uh, oh, was mentioning how he wished he hadn't sold his to Monty. Apparently, there's a loose shelf in his closet or something. Okay, who's next? Well, that's it. Well, children, that was a fun little show and tell. Oh, there's the bell. I hope you all had a fun day today. I'll see you all tomorrow on the next Monday. Really, it's next week. Why is it tomorrow and not I'll see you next week, next Monday? What's up, Jerome? You gonna give me what I'm after? Well, kid, I'm impressed. You put up with this whole crazy day just because I told you I'd, it'd be worth it. It better be. It is, trust me. It's just a shame it required Monty taking the laser point until I pay him back. Either way, you've earned this. Well, what is it? It's a mold for a key to my dad's office. You get this made and you can go in there any time. You couldn't just give me a key? <laughs> How can I even get this made? Okay, how can I even get this made? Monty can hook you up. Just bring it to him at the beginning of the day and he'll figure it out for you. Sweet! This is where we part ways, man. You're pretty cool. I'll see you around. Bye! Alright, we completed! Oh, I'm too cool for school. I got the key mold. Alright, we are progressing in this game. Let me just hold on one sec. There we go. Well, we'll hold on one more sec again. Alright! Time for Monday again times five. Why is it Monday? Why can't it just be like Tuesday? Why does it have to, I, you know what I mean? Why does it always have to be Monday? This is the mold for Akita, the principal's office that I got from Jerome. If I take it to Monday, he should be able to make it for me for a prize. But I'm gonna leave it there. I don't think I need it. Let's see actually what I need. Okay, it looks like we're doing Miss Applegate's uh, uh, thing right now. Do I have an? I don't have enough money. I need seven dollars. So we have to burn through a day. Uh, yeah, I guess I have to just burn through the day. Let's go ahead and speed through that real quick. Oh my goodness, I still don't have enough money. Okay, now I have plenty of money. So I need seven dollars. Now I'm on day seven. Or again, time seven or whatever, whatever. Anyway, I need seven dollars. Seven dollars, please. Okay, that's good. We'll save three dollars. Okay, time to actually start the day again. Yes, I would like to start another Monday. Hmm, I smell money. <laughs> yeah, someone definitely carrying more than three dollars around here. Hey, kid, you carrying any cash? Yes. Excellent, give me half or I'll split your empty skull with my foot. Fine, here you go. Uh, whoops. Oh, no, 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 I am supposed to give him the money. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, I ruined it already. All right. Hi, Mrs. Applegate. Uh, Bugs stole my money. Bugs stole my money. He did? 
Interesting. I'll make you a deal. Bugs is a real troublemaker. He's violent and dangerous to others. If you go over there and challenge him, I'll make him worth a while. What if he hurts me? It builds character. Is this legal? Probably not, but this is how I can stop my underground kid fighting me and then it's a risk I'm willing to take. Alright, whatever. I'll give you a gold star. We all love gold stars. Sure. Oh, how I love a good kitty fight. Just go over there and push him a little bit. When you attack back, just yell for me and scream and call for me to help you. Okay. Hi, Bugs. What do you want, Dweeb? I'm not giving you your money back. Get out of here before I squish you. Uh, squishing me won't make your dad come back. <laughs> My dad will come back. He's went to the store to get some cigarettes is all. Jeez, get out of here or I'll beat you so hard I'll make him proud. <laughs> He'll never be proud of you. Yes, he will. If you don't leave right now, I'll kill you. Nah, dying wouldn't be so bad. Fine, you asked for it. This is for you, Dad. Teacher! Teacher, Bugs is hurting me. Bugsy! How dare you attack another student and provoke again? That's the last straw. I'm sending you to the principal's office so he can finally expel you. No, please don't. He, he started. He's a liar. He said my dad's never gonna come back. He's not. Well, he's right. And after this little incident, neither are you. Now go to the principal's office, or I'll have the janitor carry you there. I killed the janitor. But, but... Go! Stupid rat. We could have been friends if you didn't rat me out. Yeah, I killed the janitor, so you shouldn't be afraid of him anymore. Oh, happy day. I'm finally rid of that little de degenerate. Here's your gold star, as promised. Thank you. All right, here's where I need to start, like, paying attention. Because I've already done this stuff before, up to right here. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. All right, uh... <laughs> hmm, hmm. Now you've got me thinking. Uh, Jerome thinks you're so high and mighty because he's the principal's kid. Why don't we arrange for a trip for him to visit his dad? All right, sure. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Come see me during the morning time, and I'll tell you what to do. Cool. All right, so here's what I have to do. I have to go to... Uh, to Monty, right? Let's see here. Uh, da -ba -da -ba -da. Buy a voice recorder for Monty. All right. Hi, I'm Monty. If you need something, come talk to me. Odds are I can get it for you for the right price. What I need and what I sell changes throughout the day. I want to buy something. Here's what's for sale. I need a voice recorder. It's a pretty cool gadget. I can help you get in trouble if you ever accuses you of something you didn't do. It's $2.50. What do you say? Sure, I have tons of money. Plus you're doing business with you. Alright, that's it. I don't want anything else. Uh, Cindy! What's up, girl? Hey, kitty! I'm Cindy! Wanna be my boyfriend? So, it says here, um, ask if you love- no. Alright, well, let's- let's try that again. Cindy, hello! Hey, kid, I'm Cindy. Am I my boyfriend? Sure. Heh. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. I will totally be the cutest couple in school, but first you have to do something for me. Oh, there we go. Isn't our love enough? That's what I'm supposed to do. So I'm supposed to- Isn't our love enough? Okay. <laughs> That's cute, but no. It isn't. You're gonna have to prove it to me. And then I'm supposed to say why. Why? How about because I'm the prettiest, smartest, nicest girl I ever met? Does that do it for you? And then, hold on, what am I supposed to do? Then deny her. Uh, you don't seem like any of those things. <laughs> Which is true, she's totally messed up. Excuse me? I know you did not just say that to me. Because if you did, I would have you taken out. I'd like to see you try. Fine, you ask for it. What are you gonna do? Rape! Oh my gosh! Oh dear me. What on earth is going on over here? I heard someone cry rape. Yes, Miss Applegate, that was me. This boy tried to rape me. That's so messed up. <laughs> <sighs> Cindy, we've been over this. Boys not wanting to be a boyfriend does not count as rape. <laughs> but as per the school's policy, I have to send you both to the principal. What? You're punishing me for always being raped? Now you listen to me, you little parasite. You're going to the principal's office. End of story. It is so unfair. Yeah, yeah. Tell it to the principal. Principal's gonna try and murder. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't remember his name. I'm sorry, Bugs, but you leave me no choice but to. Oh, what now? What are you two doing here? He tried to rape me. Great. Well then, Bugs, it looks like you get off easy this time. Get out of here, you little dumpster fire. <laughs> Saved your life, kind of. I'll be seeing you at recess, pal. Okay, you two, let's get this over with. So you're accusing your little friend here of trying to rape you. Really, Cindy? Yes, sir. I can barely fight him off. 
I'm going to assume you're going to deny that you raped her. Is that correct? I'm going to assume I'm supposed to say yes. Oh, there are instructions. Well, let's read them. Okay, apparently I'm just supposed to say no, although it doesn't really say that. No. What? You're saying you did do it? Well, oh, whoops. That's unusual, but it sure as hell makes my job easier. Zoo Code of Conduct is very clear on how to handle this. I, um, I apparently clicked the wrong thing. It doesn't say to say no. Well, I ruined it. <laughs> I messed up. Maybe you shouldn't admit to crimes you didn't do. Restart room. Okay, let's try that again. Blah, 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 blah. He tried to rape me. That's so messed up accusing me of that. I'll be seeing you at recess, pale. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's skip ahead. Yes, it is correct. I did not try to rape her. That's what I thought. Well, since no one witnessed the incident and you don't have any proof, there's not much I can do except separate uh, you two for a while. I recorded the incident. Haha! -ha! I have proof! You did. Well, that makes this a hell of a lot easier. Cindy, do I even have to listen to this or will you make it easy on yourself and just admit nothing happened? But, but, what? Okay, fine. But it started. He said I was mean. Not good enough. I think I'm going to enjoy not having you in my school for a while, Cindy. I'm going to keep this recorded in case there's any trouble when your awful mother calls. Uh, so I can have it back? No. Now, why don't you run on back to class now? I think you've missed enough learning for today. Sure. Oh, you're back! I am back. Where's Cindy? What's your punishment? None. I didn't do anything wrong. So that means she's gone. Oh, happy day! I was so sick of hearing all her nonsense. Well, you've earned yourself another gold star. Wait, you would've earned a gold star? Well, I would've. Well, all little Roos didn't get rid of bugs like I'd hoped. But don't worry, there's plenty of time to handle that later. What about Jerome? Oh, yes! The high and mighty Jerome. Always taking, talking back to me because his dad is my boss. I think it's time we finally got even with him. All right, well, we're going to get even with Jerome next time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that little bell for notifications. And I'll see you guys next time.